Now back here in Greenville, students who have a visual impairment are conducting scientific research projects to present to ECU through a local program. None of your sides, Caitlin Richards is joining us now in the studio after attending the presentation of these projects. So Caitlin, what is the goal of this program? Courtney, the goal of the Discoveries in Earth Science program is to prepare students for the scientific workforce through in-depth, hands-on scientific research. The program provides an opportunity for students in ENC to learn Earth, earth science in a university setting. Students with uh, special needs, um, we're, we're inclusive for that particular group, can do science. And they can see science, but just see it differently. This is pretty interesting. interesting. The DES program allows students who are visually impaired or blind to learn how to independently conduct earth science projects and analyze scientific data while using professional equipment. The hands-on program develops skills such as identifying rocks, minerals, and fossils, read topographic maps, measure water levels in groundwater wells, and measure and record water quality parameters. At ECU's Flanagan Building, ECU students and faculty of the Science Department judged the science projects and research the participants had been working on. That is what I'm studying, so I do find it very important and it's very exciting to see that kids are taking it seriously and are excited to do it. Um, I think it's important for our future because science plays a role in our everyday life. The goal is for students to complete projects with minimal or no assistance from the program personnel. Projects that were presented included How Cool Is Your Pool, determining which pool in Pitt County had the best water quality, I like to grow basil, but what is the best soil? Does the terrain affect a basketball's bounce? And what is in gravel driveways? And we want these students to want to be scientists or to, to consider STEM, scientists, tech, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, or medicine. So uh, the goal here is to inspire them, to motivate them to take that work and say, hey, I can do this. As for what's next for the students, they'll receive feedback from the judges on what they presented tonight and make sure they're ready to compete in the regionals happening in February. In the studio, Caitlin Richards, 9 on your side.